Okay, welcome to Peel Park. The date is Wednesday the 6th of December as we welcome back our hosts, Salford men's first, as they take on Liverpool's seconds. I am Bix Williams and joined with me today is Lewis Speed. And the whistle goes, Liverpool kick off. They go along straight away here, number seven. And that's oh, a penalty straight away. It couldn't get off to a worse start, Bix Williams. That's not what you want. He's done a great job to draw the foul. Like again, just just because it's the first couple seconds, the referee's never going to be, you know, not wanting to give a penalty. It's going to be a very easy chance now for Liverpool to you, take the lead. You give the referee a decision to make there, and I think it was a quite an obvious one. You know, we were speaking about Finn just before the game. Um, he's in the thick of it straight away today. Um, oh. The keeper's got a task on his hands. And cool penalty. Yep, he's sent him the wrong way. It's a very great, it's a great start for Liverpool. You know, scoring this early on though, you've got to think it's going to change both teams' tactics completely. Yeah, interesting decision, isn't it? Um, I have to say, you know, there's no biases, but I do prefer. Yeah, oh, and that's another enough. goal, number four. Very good corner whips in deep. It looks like no one in blue and yellow wanted to clear it, and he just slots it into the net. And the shout of "Come on!" comes from the corner taker. Oh, fingers crossed. Oh, what a ball! Number eight. Excellent, mate. He's found number seven down the right-hand side. He's gonna stand it up. Salford neglecting to whip it in first time and just want to beat the man here. Excellent effort. He's sent in, takes a deflection. Cleared. Well defended from Liverpool. They haven't really slipped up at the back here, and that's a foul from number 13. Ooh, that is a headbutt from number eight. And Finley Gaynor has got a yellow card him. I thought that was going to be a red fix when he was. What did you think? I think it's university football, you know. He had every right to send him off for that one, but a yellow, he's got to be lucky he's on the pitch. You've got to keep your composure in games like these. Even if he does leave something on you, you can't retaliate with a headbutt. That was diabolical. Made them, uh, made him make the, a penalty and a possible red card. Uh, they need to keep their heads set. Free a decent ball in from number eight. He's lucky to oh, oh my god! He's got to be off. Oh, he no. has got to be off. He Things and he is off. And bad to worse. Liverpool will feel justice has been served. Well, he's come to him. He's had three men around him. Honestly. All you've got to do is just try and get rid of it, but the Liverpool man's legs being caught in that. See, if I'm if I'm Salford's manager, I'm saying just carry on, carry on, lads. Play how you've been playing. Uh, you know, it's going to be really, really difficult for them to get a result now. But the last thing you want is is a really high score line, isn't it? Well, it's not the reason. But number 11 still on goal oh here. Goodness. Can he score? Oh, and oh. it's a great save from the Liverpool keeper. Excellent effort. He's managed to just use that pace. He's exploded through. And, you know, it wasn't the most powerful shot. He did go for placement, which I think probably was the best idea. But excellent one-handed save from the Liverpool goalkeeper as it goes out for a corner. It's telepathic. I, I, read, it, I read into the mind. And he has read that tackle exceptionally. That that Number four for Salford. Honestly, John Stones-esque. Okay, there's a chance here for Salford. Can they get a shot off? Can they get a shot off? Oh, and it's another excellent save. The legs are fine. I actually have a pair of shorts underneath the cargoes today. Yeah, I'm trying to layer up as much as possible. Good idea. I, I, I should have, uh, I should have layered up more of the trousers. And he uh, gets the deck there, number six. Excellent job from number ten. And he's got to score. Seventeen. Surely stands on the goalkeeper. He's got to score. Striker. That was a goal. Now that could be Raps, and you know what I think it is. He's done an excellent job, the number 10 for Liverpool, as he just, you know, he looks up, he scans that pitch, lays it off on his right foot, and on that side, finds number 17, who just brings the keeper to the floor and slots it home for what has got to be three points for the University of Liverpool. I was worried he was going to muck that up there, for, for his sake. Ooh. Ooh. 
Oh, he's giving me a few, but Bob Salford, I believe on the fly, did go in for that burst. <sighs> Again, I think, I don't think, I struggle to call that either way. I think that was a coming together of players. Uh, it is what we call in the industry, a 50-50. Yeah. Oh, he's clearly got it right today, passing on. So we went in there for him, but... I think the tactics have been on point for Liverpool, to be fair. Oh, oh it's off that one! Number four. The goalkeeper is going to be... Very upset with that, isn't it? Very upset. Yeah, but it is a goal for Salford. They managed, you know, to make sure Liverpool don't go back with the clean sheet. A very long whipped in free, long whipped in free kick. As the referee blows full time. But it's just time. a consolation goal right at the end. Um, 